Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonah. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. This is coming out on uh, maybe now, I don't know, spring break week. Spring you break week. You want to get week. some beads? Uh, dude, uh, great some spring break spots that I've never been to. Lake Take Havasu. Take your pants off for beads in the streets. I've never been to Cancun. I've never been to Lake Havasu. South Padre Island, Miami uh, Beach. I've never been to any of Oh, I've been to Miami Beach, but not yeah. spring break time. So uh, I guess Miami Beach hey, it says they're opting out of a toxic relationship. It says, it's not us, it's you. They're, they're telling people to not come there for spring break because there's been many years of violence and debauchery in the streets. Yep. Apparently last year uh, it came to a head. Um, there was a lot, a lot of violence that happened. Two homicides happened. <laughs> I mean, and yeah. there were there were some, like something like four hundred and some odd arrests. I mean, and most of them, and like over half of them, were felony arrests. Yeah, it said uh, they're implementing month long security measures aid at curbing the chaos, including parking restrictions for non residents. Yeah. And then they're closing sidewalk cafes on the busy weekends. Curfews. It, yeah, it says uh, curfews, bag searches, early beach closures, DUI checkpoints, drug possession arrests. Yep. It said, you just want to get drunk in public and ignore the laws. It says, do you even remember last March? <laughs> um, but here's the thing, man. Do you even remember it? This is why we can't have nice things. What do you mean? Everybody ruins everything. Bro, That's like okay. the guy, the gas grill at the Crazy Town compound, the guy putting mulch in it to set it on fire. Yeah, like, that's a, a, that's I'm insane. like, bruh. That's insane. This is why we can't, you drunk and can't figure it out. So you that's, just pour wood in it. But I'm, look, I'm also going to say is that we're giving a lot of responsibility to, to kids. All right. We're talking about the people that do go to these events are 21 to like 27, 28. Because by the time you hit 28, you're like, I don't know if I want to go there again, unless you just got problems in your life, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to say it's like it's the most young and irresponsible version of us that are the main culprits. Well, yeah. I mean, absolutely. You ain't seeing no 50-year-olds out at spring break. No. Like, and if you do, they're just like the weird guys. So I'm not, I'm, and I'm also not trying to say just like blame the kids either. I don't want to come up. That's what it sounds like, Boomer. Is that what it sounds? It, no, I'm I'm shooting them bail because they are young. You know, when I was that age, I made dumb mistakes. I did dumb stuff. You know, and oh, I, I did a lot of dumb stuff when I was younger. Yeah, and if and if either one of us had any more loose morals, we probably could have done a lot way worse stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm shooting them bail, but on the same note, hey, look, I I understand. It gets a little wild in yeah. spring break, and I could, I could see like Louisiana doing this. Like this could be a trend. Yeah, I mean uh, South Padre Island don't care. I guess they're the one in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I, down there. Have Not you? during spring break though. No, you want to go to spring break down there this year? It's on, going on right now. Let's go. Sorry, guys. No more episodes this I'll week. Take, We're going to I'll, spring break. I will take the next month off. Let's go. <laughs> spring break's only a week. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I'll take a month. I'm going to need a, three weeks to recover. After hanging out with all them young girls oh doing God. doing spring break stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never felt more old, Jonas, than when I was in the grocery store. I think this was like last weekend. And there was a, the cashier was there and she was, uh, she was an older woman, right? The cashier was an older woman? Yeah. I okay. mean, and when I say older, I mean, you know, like over the age of 30. All right. And oh. I was there and I was over the age of 30. You know what I'm saying? And Yeah. 30 and a half. <laughs> exactly. And then we look and then there's like these two, there's like two uh, bag, bag people, bag persons, bag boys. Bag bag ladies. Except one of them was a lady. So there was a bag man and a bag woman. And Pan. and the bag man was talking to the bag woman in the lane over. And he's like, hey, what do you think my name is? And she was like, I don't know. And he was like, it's this. But how do you think you spell it? And it was just like the weirdest, most awkward 16-year-old Riz that I've ever seen in my life. And I looked at this woman in the same like generation as me and we made eye contact and we both rolled our eyes and smiled at each other at the same time. But I've never felt more old when I saw that 16 year old Riz and I was just like, you know what? what? Hold on. I was just like, 
Man, I should go up to somebody in the bar and be like, hey, guess what my name is? <laughs> What's your favorite color? What do you think? <laughs> you see the new Taylor Swift Can you album? guess what my favorite color is? And they're like, <laughs> and they're like <laughs> green. I'm like, God damn it, girl, you in my head already. Bro, it was, it was so awkward. And I don't know if it was working. Like, to me, I was like, bro, that was the lamest line. But on her, it was like it was working. Like, she was like, oh, okay. I, I was think, I was serious. I'm going to ask a girl out in the bar. I know. I know you were. No, and I'll be see, like, and I'm like, I'm like you know how to spell it? It's Jonas with two A's. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, it's, it's, different. Different. it's different. I like this. I'll put the two A's up on my fingers. I'll be like, hey, hey. Alcoholics Anonymous. No, I no. need it. Hey, hey. <laughs> come on it. with me, May. Yeah. <laughs> Assisted assault. Yeah. Uh, wow. I, I need it. That, I don't even know what that means. But uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like some. That sounds like. I mean, he. I mean, he tried. He, she was giggling. She yeah, was I, in, bro. I don't know. I don't know if like young girls are just dumb. Apparently, At the H E B, there's always some young ass kids saying some ignorant stuff with the ba the bag people. They're always yeah. like the youngest kids, and you're, they're just like, "Y'all going to the party later?" No, I gotta work till two. <laughs> like, that sounds like a normal she's conversation. Like, <laughs> wait. That like a, they're just having normal conversations. Just like weird ass. <laughs> you go into the party, you know, I gotta work till two. Yeah. Whoa, what a bunch of fucking weirdos. <laughs> fucking going to parties Told and Told you working. I was bringing smart stuff this week. What kind of... What kind of what kind of fucking crack addicted meth whore gets off at two? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, you fucking scum bucket, right, Jonas? That's what fuck I thought these about kids, her. right? That's fuck. What I, I thought about her. I was like, this, this mom, this stupid bitch wow. getting off at two o'clock. The <laughs> fuck, Johnny, I'm so tired of them getting off <laughs> of work, right, and going to parties. <laughs> fucking insane remember like remember, <laughs> be, remember being young and you had to work and all your friends were going to a party and how much that sucked and you knew that like yeah and you were like man i don't get off till 10 yeah and they're all gonna be partying and, and, and you then you get that and one of you would get that awkward call from a friend who's getting off of work the guy who's gonna come to the party in his Wendy's outfit with the, with the shirt on yeah the guy's gonna bring a bag of steak from taco bell <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. They but, always bring like an extra bag of something. Just a bag of steak and some gordita shells. Yo. He's like, I brought all the extra nuggets. There's 70 of them. You know what? Actually, shout out to the guy who shows up three hours late for the party with a tray of nuggets. I mean, I'm, that motherfucker is a savior. And I've seen that. That's happened on more than one occasion yeah, in my yeah. life. Yeah, you work at the pizza place. You show up with pizza. And you're like, God damn. I'm going to tell you right now, Jonas, at my age right now, if you walk to my door with a, with a, with a tray of nuggets, there's no way I'm eating that. I don't know where those nuggets have been. Really? They've been riding the back of your car or something. You just come in in an open face tray of nuggets. I'm not eating that shit. Wow. Nuggets. Open <laughs> open face. I'm not eating that. I'm not. It's just not even happening. Man. I'm not going for an open face tray of nuggets right now. No, nah, I got better things homie? to do. What's that? Even if it was your homie? If it was you, I'm not eating your tray. Like, you just walk in with, like, an open tray of nuggets with, like, no, loose, they're in a bag. loose tin foil over the top of they're it. They're in a bag. I don't know, man. Where are you getting a bag of nuggets from? I'm not even big into nuggets like I'm that. I'm not like, I mean, what about a bag of steak? I'm not, I don't, nah. Showing up with a pound of bacon. <laughs> exactly. See, you're just, it's getting worse. It, I mean, the nuggets not, was the best form and I'm against it. Yeah. Now you're just showing up with loose meat. I'm good. It ain't like they're showing up with a bag of cheeseburgers or something. That would have been clutch. Yeah. I mean, you, we've, we've seen that happen. Talking with the guy who works at Taco Bell, he shows up with like some extra quesadillas. We yeah, had these extra like, quesadillas at the end of the night. Yeah. They're, so, they're four hours old, but they're still good. You going to uh, spring break? I would love to, actually. I'm telling you, John, you think I'm kidding, but if you wanted to go to uh, South Padre Island, I'm game to go. We could we could do a podcast from there. Why would we go? Uh, We're podcast on locale. I'd do that. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, all right. No episodes the rest of the week, everyone. We're going to South Padre. Wait, South Padre. Spring break. Okay. I'm yeah. Not. I'll pack. All right. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. Yeah.